When you watch some of the protests that are going on, a lot of foul language is used, and uh, which is quite sad. Um, my father always said that foul language was um, what people that didn't have words resorted to. So when you, when you lose the ability to speak out of frustration, you begin to use foul language. And, uh, and it is foul. And, and whether or not it becomes widely used or not is irrelevant. It's foul language is foul language. And the Prophet ﷺ said that one of the signs of the latter days, he said that yadhar al-fahsh wa tafahush. He said foul language would become widespread, and he said tafahush, which means people intentionally using foul language. So it's not out of frustration, they're actually using it uh, intentionally to, to create an effect. Because some people use it simply because it's what comes to mind, but other people will use it uh, out of a type of art, artifice, like almost a rhetorical uh, technique. And so when communication breaks down, people resort to other means to get their message across. So the breakdown of language leads to violence. That, that's simply what happens. When people aren't being heard and their grievances are not being addressed, they will resort to violence. Wars occur because of breakdowns in a communication. So when you want a society that, that is a civil society, which is the goal, it should be the goal of every human society to have civility and, and gentleness the idea of adab, comportment, and, and, and just courtesy, which was foundational to the Prophet Sallallahu teaching, uh, then you need, you need to have communication. And, and that's why language was so important. But language is very complicated. It's far more complicated than most people actually realize because words have nuances. They have multiple meanings. What did you mean by that when you use that word? Uh, text problems occur all the time. In fact, emoticons were introduced to try to help that problem because people would take text personally and not realize the person was being ironic.